Okay, now that I am calm, I apologize for the yelling and everything like that from my last video. But I really meant a lot of what I said still. But I want to come back now that I am more calm. That video was literally right after I found out. So I want to come back. Instead of yelling, I want to come with a more calm video, okay? I want to say this. I do not know why the show was canceled. I do, I do not know. What I will say is that um, for the people that are saying it's because the stadium itself and the field wasn't big enough for her stage, that literally does not make sense because every NFL field is the exact same size. Now, not seating capacity, but as far as the field is concerned, Every NFL field across this country has to be the exact same size for regulation purposes because it wouldn't be fair if, like, the Steelers had a bigger field than, like, the Eagles or the Eagles had a smaller field than, like, Miami. So as far as the stage fitting, that is not an excuse. Second of all, nowhere does it say that the stage could not fit on the field. There is not one place out of everything. It says logistics and it says scheduling. But nowhere does it say that it couldn't fit on the field. Now, the mayor of Pittsburgh just put something out pretty much saying that he needs to speak with the promoter to kind of understand what exactly happened, why exactly it happened, because they was all ready to open, you know, welcome her here with open arms and things like that. Um. So, yeah, so we do not know. What I will say is that I do think that part of the reason why she's not coming part of it is because of sales and when i say that it's not to belittle beyonce and i want to put it like this when i say that i can't speak like the swifties and stuff like that and everybody else and some of the barbs they're trying to use that to um like downplay beyonce but when i say that i don't say that as it being a negative reflection of her I say that as it being a negative reflection of this trash ass city. So even in the last video when I was screaming at the top of my lungs, I said, this is a country music city. So her having low ticket sales in Pittsburgh is not a bad reflection on her. Now, if she was to go to like Houston or something and she wasn't selling out, if she was to go to New York, like I said, and wasn't selling out, DC, Philly. And also I want y'all to understand Pittsburgh is all the way on the west side of Pennsylvania. Philadelphia is six hours away from Pittsburgh. I don't think most people understand the the um, the um geographic location. So when you guys are saying just go to Philly, that's like saying just go to New York. Because if I go to Philly, I might as well just go to New York. It's on completely opposite sides of the states. And so the demographics are very much so different. Philly is a black city. It is the city of brotherly love. Pittsburgh is the complete opposite of Philadelphia. It is a very white city. So again, when I'm saying that her ticket sales here was low and I and people are like, oh, that's not true, da, da, da. You're talking to somebody who's been looking at the map every week for this damn city. Not every other week, not checking little numbers, not looking at um, um, posts or screenshots. You're talking about somebody who's been looking every single day. The ticket sales here compared to other places we're not as high and as i said in my last video it's not a bad ref it's not a it's not a bad reflection on her it just speaks to the demographics of this city again the city is a country music city like i said the the show that sells out constantly non-stop without fail is the kenny chesney or the kenny chesnut uh falcon concert that comes to heinz field every single year that shit sells out immediately why? Because this is a country music city. I literally just did like an icebreaker with people at my job. And the question was, what is your favorite type of music? And every single person except me said country. That's just how this city is. It's a very country, 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 country music type of place. They don't really care too much for black artists. They don't really care too much for rap. They don't really care too much for R&B. That's why... Me and my mom are always very surprised when any black artist decides to come here. It's actually very surprising because nothing about the demographics of this city hits um, them. Even if you go back, okay, like last year, um, Jadakiss, there was supposed to be like a Jadakiss 
um mace um and some other people were supposed to come here they were supposed to go to the ppg arena and guess what that was canceled and that was just at the ppg arena you want to know why a lot of tickets weren't sold because this is not that type of city. It's just not. So when I'm saying that, I can't speak for other people because other people are using this to slight her. When I say her ticket sales was low here, that's not a slight against her. It's just talking about the actual demographics of the city. And in all reality, like I said, even for the formation tour, it wasn't selling out here like crazy until literally like the weekend before, the week of, the day of, that's when people started to buy tickets. That's kind of the like type of city that this is. Like I said, it's a very, uh, it's a boring city to be quite honest. So there's not a lot to do. So by the time the tour would have actually came here and it would have been nothing for people to really do, people probably would have bought tickets. But as far as people going out of their way to do it, no, this is not the city for that. So again, that's why I said in my last video, don't come back here. Not even just because I'm pissed off, but like just don't come back here because it's not worth it. And when also when I talk about low ticket sales, it's about making your money back. It's about making your money back. So the amount of money that Beyonce probably would have had to spend to like get all of her, all of like her pieces and stuff here, everything that she would have had to pay like production and her dancers, all everything that she would have had to put in to actually set up in Pittsburgh right now at this time, a couple of weeks before probably it didn't look like she probably was going to get her money back. It just didn't. It did right now. It does not look like she would have got her money back for everything she would have had to put in coming here. That's what I'm speaking to when I'm talking about low ticket sales. She wasn't going to get a return of her investment. So far, it wouldn't have looked like it. It wouldn't have looked like that. And also, I can't see Beyonce um, performing to a, like, not packed arena. She's just not going to do it. As much as it, as much as I was okay with that, because I was saying from the beginning, girl, I hope none of y'all motherfuckers buy tickets, because that means I get to just move on up, move on up. But in our reality, she's not going to perform to a stadium that's not, even if it's not completely sold out, she's not going to do it to something that's not packed out. Point blank, period. There was still a whole bunch of club renaissance tickets that was available here in Pittsburgh. Like, there was a lot of tickets that was still available here. Not resale. I'm talking about regular ass tickets. So, for all of the people that's talking about, oh, it was mostly sold out, it was not. And you're talking to somebody who's been paying attention every single week I've been looking. So, all of that to say, this is more so a Parkwood promoter, promoter type of issue from what from like when I really stop and I think about it I think this is more so of a Parkwood and the promoter whoever that person was whether it's the person who worked for Aquashore Stadium not really being in um lockstep about certain things I think that's really what it gets down to and in all reality like it's F Pittsburgh as far as I'm concerned. I don't even really like it here all like that. So I can understand why somebody would be like, oh, well, like, I'm not going to even go through all of the rigmarole anyway of trying to do what I need to do to come out here because who cares? Like, who truly cares? But I want to come back and come with and say what I said before, but more calm and make it very clear that when I'm saying what I'm saying, it's not a slight towards her. It's a slight towards this raggedy ass city. Acrishore and Parkwood. Y'all didn't work together well enough and y'all obviously wasn't in communication well enough for y'all to have certain things set up. That's it. Now that I have got my rant out and stuff and I've calmed down a little bit, I'm only getting a little aggravated by everybody making up, people making up saying that the stage wouldn't fit because that does not make sense when all NFL fields are the exact same. Now, like I said, if it was behind the scenes stuff about maybe her stuff couldn't fit, like, I don't know, in the trailer or something like that, that's different. But if we're talking about the actual field, that excuse, number one, is nowhere. It doesn't say that anywhere. And number two, does not make sense logistically. But yeah, so I am now calm. I am okay with the fact that I'm not going. It's fine. It's fine. I probably shouldn't be as pregnant as I am anyway going. It would have been really high. But I'm okay. I am now okay with the fact that I'm not going to go. I did have to unfollow Beyonce and Miss Tina because I'm still a little perturbed about the whole situation. And I know the mayor said like on his post that he's going to try to figure out where it is if they can move it there's nowhere else that y'all can move it to and if they're gonna have somewhere else she's just not gonna come back here it just is what it is she's gonna have to deal with the backlash 
Um, and I understand that a lot of y'all are trying to defend her, but at the end of the day, whether it's the stadium's fault or her, or her fault, it doesn't matter. Her name is on it, so she's going to have to take the backlash for it. That's just how that works. It's your tour. So regardless of whose fault it is, you're going to have to take some of the lickings for it. That's just how that go. But, yeah. I want to come back here in a more calm, <sighs> woo-saw state than I was in my last video. Although, like I said, I stick by what the hell I say. But I just wanted to say in a more calm reason why I felt that way. But that's it, y'all. Y'all get in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm out. Bye.